everyone, how are you doing? My name is Ta'ana Sisatiwana Karita. I'm drinking coffee and I'll tell you one secret. If you add salt to your coffee, it becomes beautiful, smooth. It's, it's really, really nice. So one of the things that um, I've read this week and I felt like it was very important for me to share with you is um, Six Secrets of Highly Motivated People by Nick Whitmill. Firstly, I just want to say thank you, Mom, for sending me to law school. It has been an adventure and a half. It's not only studying law, but also it's helping me and shaping me into uh, a different person altogether. And I just want to thank you for this opportunity. If I'm doing management, as one of the units this year, we've been taught, and there's a lot of emphasis on time management, as it will help you with efficiency and for you to do things effectively. But to be very honest, no matter how good you are at management, sometimes you could spend the whole day doing the same thing, but still not be able to achieve your goals. And that's one of the challenges that I've been having, that sometimes I'll study the whole day, but then only to discover people have only touched on one chapter. So this article really, really spoke to me, and I hope and I hope and pray that it will also speak to someone who's watching. So first thing that he said is, one, um, manage your energy, not your time. This is literally, I was like, what? What did he just say? I felt like this was a bomb. This was literally like spot on, because most of the time, productivity and habit building advice tell you that to manage your time wisely, you become more efficient and in what you're doing and they give different ways of time management and how to manage your time. But Nick Wickmore says motivation is actually not a time problem. It is an energy problem. Um, you can give all your, you can give the time, all the time in the world that you want, but if you're not motivated, then you will not succeed in the things that you're doing. Because even in limited time, people, some people actually succeed more than those that are actually taking more time to do the same task. And then he also said, um, so yeah, so guys, manage your energy, not your time. And then um, the second thing was surround yourself with motivated people. I feel like this is also very important, especially now that we're home, to... If you feel like you are around your family and they're not in the they're not in the space that you're in then you know make space for yourself where in a little corner where you can influence your environment and you can influence your energy without anyone else disturbing that vibe the positive interactions with supportive and enthusiastic friends can supercharge your own energy and the contrary remains the same then also the third one being celebrate your successes simple and as a powerful um practice i also do that when i get my pocket money for my mom i know it's pocket money but still i'm learning to do that habit where even when i get a little bit of money from my job or anything i remember when i was working at a swim school and i got my 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 money i just wanted to do something for myself to say yeah you've done it this is your job and this is your earnings and that just really really motivates so when he spoke about this i really really could relate because it's one of my fundamental things to do to spoil myself all the time so um celebrate your successes simple and a powerful thing to do it's a basic law of human psychology that behavior followed by reward is more likely to happen in the future. So this is, so what I really learned from, from this, like I'll just summarize it. He says that this actually is a long-term psychological act because you find that if you reward yourself psychologically, you'd want to do it again because you want to get another reward. So let's say you pass. I remember like my mom used to actually do this with me and my brothers, like we would, go to school and she tell us if you win if you pass you get a bicycle i remember when i was grade one i got a bicycle and when i was grade two i got a playstation 2 was it a walkman before the playstation 2 i always got gifts along my educational journey and i think that's one of the things that really motivated me and my siblings and i think in the real world where now you are working and you're studying or whatever when you succeed in something be it a small test be whatever it is reward yourself reward yourself honey reward yourself the fourth thing is be compassionate with your failures failure is not fatal it's not the end of the world be compassionate it's okay to lose sometimes because it's part of your journey the fifth thing being 
create an energizing environment for yourself trust me guys this is really 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 important when we started learning at home the first thing that came into my mind is hmm should I change the bed? Because to me, I know my environment really, really um, contributes to my mentality, to my thinking. So my personal space means a lot. So yeah, create a very clean environment for yourself because the messier the environment, the chaotic your, your workspace is, even your mind, just organizing your space has a lot of influence on the outcomes of whatever you're trying to achieve. And lastly, is be ruthless about saying no this is really 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 important i don't know why you made it the sixth the sixth point but this is really really important because motivation is largely a matter of priority okay if your marriage is a priority you'd say no to poker game with the guys if your education is a priority you would say no to sleeping the whole day to studying so basically part of actually you achieving your goals is making whatever you what whatever goal you have a priority so thank you guys for coming through and i think i'll be sharing more on the things that i read and by the way if you want to follow um nick Wookmill, or maybe you want to read this article on your own go to medium the medium app and then look for his articles there. I think this guy is a genius, to be honest. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day. And if you have anything to say, anything to add on, feel free to leave it in the comments.